Hello, everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Martha Anger. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. During closing arguments of the Ahmad Arbery trial in Brunswick, Georgia, there was an audible gasp in the courtroom when a defense attorney said, quote, turning Ahmad Arbery into a victim after the choices that he made does not reflect the reality of what happened and what brought Ahmad Arbery to Satilla Shores in his khaki shorts with no socks to cover his long, dirty toenails. Aubrey's mother stood up and said, I gotta get out of here, saying the defense chose to talk about his toenails and not the huge hole in his chest from a gunshot blast. And legal experts slammed the defense for trying to depict Aubrey as a runaway slave. Today, Tuesday, the defense team tried once again to call for a mistrial which the judge denied again. And the prosecution wrapped up closing arguments by telling the jury, don't be fooled by the defendant's claim of self-defense and to find all three men guilty on all charges. Investigators in Waukesha, Wisconsin say 39-year-old Daryl Brooks Jr intentionally drove an SUV through barricades and into a crowd of people at a Christmas parade, killing five people and injuring over 40 people, including children. According to court records, Brooks had been released from jail two weeks ago in relation to domestic abuse charges, where he's accused of using a car to run over a woman while she was walking through a gas station parking lot. In connection with the parade tragedy, Brooks was charged with five counts of intentional homicide. Authorities in New York say 56-year-old Makila Shabazz the youngest daughter of slain civil rights activist Malcolm X was found dead in her Brooklyn apartment this morning, Tuesday. Police say her death appears to be due to natural causes at this time. Shabazz's death comes one week after two men of the three men convicted in her father's assassination were cleared of wrongdoing. Have you been to a gas station lately? Ouch, gas prices are incredibly high. Today, Tuesday, President Joe Biden announced the release of 50 million barrels of oil from the country's oil reserve, hoping to help lower the price of gas. The oil release is part of a group effort involving China, India, Japan, South Korea, and the United Kingdom. And that's because the price of oil is determined on a global market and is based on supply and demand. And we'll know in a couple of days how much the oil release helps. Here we are getting ready to celebrate another Thanksgiving during a COVID-19 pandemic but this Thanksgiving may look a little more normal now that we have vaccines to help provide protection. But health experts have some tips on how to have the safest Thanksgiving possible. Have an outdoor celebration if possible. Unvaccinated family members should wear masks and even if you're vaccinated, but live in an area of high transmission or you're around someone with a weakened immune system, it's recommended you wear a mask as well. 
Here's a sneak peek at Disney's latest animated musical, Encanto, which opens in theaters tomorrow, Wednesday, November 24th. The story is about a big extended family living in the mountains of Colombia, and everyone is bestowed with magical gifts like strength or healing power, with the exception of the daughter, Maribel. But she discovers that the family magic is under threat, and she may be the only one to save it. Lynn manuel Miranda, creator of the hit Broadway musical Hamilton, helped write the story and contributed eight original songs. On Monday, a horse and carriage delivered the official 2021 White House Christmas tree to the first family, Joe and Jill Biden, an 18 and a half foot Fraser fir from Peak Farms of Jefferson, North Carolina. It will be placed in the Blue Room of the White House. Second family, Vice President Kamala Harris and her husband, Doug Imhoff, made history again when they placed a white mezuzah to the right side of the vice presidential residence. A mezuzah has a small scroll inside that includes text of the Shema prayer, which signifies protection for the home. And it marks the first time an executive home has carried the sign of sanctity of a Jewish home. Sign One News will be broadcasting live updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku.